A campaign to keep the York-based East Coast Main Line in public hands was launched by Labour and trade union leaders today. MPs, including York's Hugh Bailey, joined union officials to hand out leaflets to rail users at stations along the line, which runs from London to Scotland via York. They're asking passengers to join them in fighting the government's decision to sell off the line, which they said had paid over £600 million to the Treasury since being renationalised in 2009. The rail service on the East Coast is part of a lifeblood of the Yorkshire economy. It's really important. We've had two private companies running the service, GNER and then National Express. Both companies collapsed, leaving the service in a state of hiatus. Uh, the then Labour government got a publicly owned company, East Coast, to take over the service and rescue it. And they've improved the uh, quality of the service. So trains on this line are now more punctual than they are on the privately managed uh, West Coast Main Line. And we're saying to the government, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. You know, it ain't broke. Don't try and fix it, because we might end up with another of these private companies that goes bust.